Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to uh, walk you through the process that I went through to build out the Mongo C driver um, on Ubuntu Linux. Um, and that's for again, NoSQL. Uh, I'll do some further explanations of uh, my story here. So here are all the steps involved to get through this uh, challenging process, probably the best way to put it. Um, Basically, these are all the steps that you need to go through. There are instructions on how to do it. Um, and I've got uh, my own set here. <clears throat> but uh, basically, in Ubuntu, a couple things we need to uh, understand about Mongo in Ubuntu. All right, so I'm in my home directory right now. And um, I'm going to show you the compiler code, C++ code. So the code that we need to worry about is, okay. So basically the, this is what we're trying to build out is this library here, okay? Um, and also this one as well. And uh, when you configure it and you do a make, uh, it does a whole variety of other um, utilities that you can run to uh, test the connection connectivity with Mongo as it is. So right now I'm just going to run one uh, called R Mongo ping and all it's going to do is it's going to tell me that uh, I'm going to run this here um, that uh, it will say okay and it means that the connection is alive. So you can see here it's asking for my um, host name. So you just put in localhost because it's on the localhost and uh, we get okay cool so what i want to show now is i set up mongo to run as a service within my my linux environment so if i do a ps ef grep mongo for the process what i'm referring to this is it right here uh, running in the background so we're not running the daemon well we're running the daemon but we're not running the daemon as maybe if you've watched me in the past uh, do so what we're doing here is if I go um, service mongo uh, db, yeah, and then stop it. Uh, can it stop unknown? Okay, I think it's got to be called mongod. There we go. Mongo, this is what we want to take down. So let me just uh, do a service status all. And this will list out all the running uh, services running on this system. Boy, oh boy, I'm not doing too good today, am I? Okay, so we want status all. That would help if I do it this way. Unrecognized. <laughs> I'd say it's Monday, but it's not Monday. Um, okay, so there we go. So here is our Mongo DB here running. Now, as stupid as it, let me just do something here. This this should. It is Mongo DB. Mongo DB. Stop. Unknown. Well, we can kill it another way. So if I just do kill nine, and then the uh, process ID, which seems to be eight six four. So let's do it that way. Eight six four to kill that process. Operation not permitted. Of course not. So I have to do it as a pseudo. Okay. Awesome. So if I run. Do a PS on that here, so that is correct. Okay, so we've stopped the service now, yay. So if I try to run the Mongo ping test again, this should be, uh, yeah, so we go Mongo C ping 
and then localhost. So this should say not running or something like that. Timeout is master on, so I can't find it. Okay, that's good. So the service is now shut down. So if I go to another, um, let me just go to my home directory in this other terminal here. What I've got here is if you'll notice, I've got this uh, start MongoDB. And it's the same one that I've used um, throughout my lessons uh, when I'm teaching uh, my algo trading course. It's the exact same one. The only difference is I'm running uh, in a virtual machine and it's running out of drive space. So I've added these uh, dash dash small files parameter as well and then given it the data file folder to run out of. So that's the only difference. So if I run start mongo, uh, as before, so here is some of the problems I ran into before. Uh, what are we looking at? Home mongo, open host, virtual, mongo started, um, open allocator, build, options, storage, path, mongo, Operation not permitted. Fail to unlink socket. Wow. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Uh, I guess I prematurely broke it. Okay, so let me try to delete that file, hopefully. So we got a Mongo lock file or a socket file. So let me try to remove it. Uh, remove. MongoDB. I've never seen this before. Good. Okay, so we could try to relaunch this. There we go. So now our Mongo's running. Alright, so let me rerun our Mongo test. Uh, we want to go to CPP Mongo C uh, driver oh, Mongo C driver. And we have our ping <coughs> Mongo C ping local host. There we go. So it's now communicating with our Mongo daemon. That's running, awesome. Okay, so what I can do now is, um, let me show you, so I've shown you the actual um, source code here on how to configure, again, there are a variety of steps as I've shown here um, in this posting, this is where the video will be as well. So, if we go into my C++ code, we've got a project here called Mongo Test. Just so everybody knows, um, I am been experimenting with a variety of uh, IDEs, integrated development environments for C, C++. This one's code light. Um, it's open source, obviously free. There's about seven IDEs out there. There's Eclipse, NetBeans, Visual Studio, uh, C-Line. And then there's a bunch of open source ones like CodeBlocks, which is has crashed a lot. So I've been looking for an alternative one. And this one, and I played around with another one called KDevelop. Um, but this one I kind of like a lot. Um, I haven't had any real problems with it. And the other cool thing is I showed another video on being able to uh, demo um, the WX widgets library in this IDE and actually got it running with uh, version 3. Um, so this is a really good IDE and it seems to work out of box. So the next test was obviously to get the Mongo C driver working and a actual test uh, um, program working. So this is the Mongo C ping program that I've been demoing earlier. This is the C program, okay, and it does compile, it does run. Okay, so Enough of that. Let me just show you the settings of the uh, project here called Mongo Test. A couple of things when you set up your um, your IDE and 4C and C++ configuration. 
a uh, couple things threw me off. A uh, couple things threw me off was um, the include path. Uh, you have to include now. This this stuff really is is a little extra. You don't need to worry about. But what you need to understand is you need to uh, enable the IDE nowhere to find or the compiler within the IDE when it's calling the compiler where to find certain um, include files, specifically the header files. So you have to tell it where to find those header files. So here obviously is related around uh, the Mongo C. And we also have another header. I'm not sure if it's actually used, but with this lib B S O N uh, as well. That's part of the C. Um, it's a dependency within this, the Mongo C driver as well. So you have to include those path names, and of course, it's self as well. Uh, it has to be included here with the, the period. So there's that. Um, the other one that threw me off pretty good was we have the same thing with uh, libraries. Um, so you have to include where all those libraries will be. So the standard one is uh, where a lot of libraries will reside depending upon the package that you're using and compiling or building. Sometimes a lot of those libraries will get put into the user local lib folder, which is fine. Uh, and then another uh, set is when I did the build, these are where the, when the build is run, this is where these library files get created. Now again, let me just show you what, what I'm talking about here. Um, under the Mongo C driver. Um, these are the files I'm referring to. These library files. These are .la. Um, these are this is what I'm referring to. Uh, so you need to tell again the compiler, the linker, where to find those uh, files. They're dependencies. Uh, it's part of the C++ and the C compile and link build process. So there's that. One thing I didn't do that really threw me off is you think that if you include the search path, that's all you need. But you also have to physically put in the actual libraries themselves. And so these are the actual libraries that we're using. Again, um, these are the ones that I'm referring to as a couple of examples. Lib, Mongo, C, uh, 1. And then the law, law, Lib, Mongo, C, Priv, P-R-I-V. And then this other one called lib bson and without these during the link you'll get these unresolved um, references and that's because it's, it's trying to uh, load in the uh, trying to implement or load in the functions that come out of these libraries so you need to specifically mention not only the library's search path but you also have to specify the libraries themselves Okay, knowing that, we can pretty well do a build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a build. So as you see here, we've, we've got our build. Um, zero error, zero warnings. Cool. Now, we really can't run this. I mean, you could. I just haven't found it yet. Um, when, when I run it, I want to be able to pass in as part of the argument um, here uh, the file name sorry, the, the server name, the host name, and the port. That's what it's looking for as part when you execute this particular Mongo test uh, program. So you have to run with these two parameters or arguments, host name and port, on the command line. Now I'm sure within this IDE of CodeLite, you can automatically, as part of the settings, pass in these uh, settings uh, as you either run or debug it um, so you don't have to leave the um, IDE, but for now I'm just going to be real lazy and show you the other way to do it. Um, okay, so if we go into um, our uh, driver here and I do an ls, um, what we got to do is we got to, oh, no, we're in the wrong path. Okay. So the way it's been set up here is we have test. This is the structure as, uh, you know, just experimenting with code light. We got test, WX frame. So we gotta go in that folder here. So we gotta go into uh, test, WX frame, should be somewhere here. Uh, 
think, uh, no, widget, that's the one we're looking for, so that's what we gotta navigate into, I don't know, uh, I can't remember, oh, I think it's, CPP, WX frame, I think that's the one, yeah, so we go into WX, this is, these, 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 this structure is based upon how you create the, uh, project within code late uh, so this is how I did it but uh, knowing how it works obviously I'll do it a little different so there's our mongo test folder that we want and here because we're running in the bug mode it no different than visual studio will create this debug folder and if it was a release you get a release folder so here you'll see that we have our main and our main um, Demon, I think, I don't know what kind of file that is. And then, I think it's a debug file. And then we have our Mongo test. So if I run the Mongo test with localhost, you'll see it's okay. If everything's running, because again, remember, um, we're running, we're running Mongo in the background, right? So that's now working, right? No different than what we had before, all created within our code light. So as an experiment, what we could do, as an experiment, what we can do, oops, as an experiment, um, no. As an experiment, what we can do is, where's my, Okay, so here's our Mongo running right here. This is our Mongo. So if I break that, so that's broken now. So if I try to rerun our Mongo test, yeah, it's not running. But if I relaunch, there we go, everything's running. So that's how we can compile and create our, um, our Mongo C driver within CodeLite. And the next object or our next goal is to get this code, which is in C, and get it integrated into one of these dialog uh, WX um, widget projects to see if we can get an interface built and compiled and actually working with this the MongoDB uh, driver. Because the problem I tried with Redis um, actually, I can run it. It was just a weird compile, and I have no idea what this was for. But you can see here, it's got some... doesn't like this void, void star for some reason. And when you compile it outside of IDE, no problem. It runs. So um, that's why I'm using MongoDB uh, for now. Um, and that's the way it's looking. I don't want to spend time, potentially wasting time, trying to figure out what's wrong with the Redis build. But uh, other than that, that's pretty well it. I want to show and hopefully help you out.